Well, the city of Oakland has been in the spotlight recently with the teacher's strike we've been covering, the Raiders Coliseum deal, and a lot of other big issues. Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff is uh, joining us this afternoon live in the studio. Mayor, thanks for joining us. Oh, it's great to be here. Yes, let's talk about the teacher's strike because we spoke last week when you were in a really tough position, supporting our teachers, obviously, but knowing that the district's in a really tough financial spot. Now we're looking at more budget cuts. Where are you at with this? Well, I think uh, short term as the mayor, I'm going to be putting some items in my proposed budget to try and lessen that pain. Specifically, restorative justice in our schools is something that I hold very dear to my heart. And so I'm going to also be calling on the county as well as philanthropy to try and make sure that that program does not get harmed because of the cuts that were just made. But long term, we have got to really take a long, hard look at things like Prop 13 and how that's impacted our whole state's ability to maintain a world-class public education system. So in 2020, voters will have an opportunity to relook at just commercial and industrial property, how those property taxes are assessed, not touching how residents pay taxes. Now, in the meantime, do you have any advice for the board? Because they have these cuts on their plate. They're about to, to take some serious votes that could even close schools. You know, my advice for the board is just to um, respect the passion that the teachers brought. We all care so much about our children. And we all have to do what we have to do and then start the healing process because uh, it was hard for me to watch people who I love and adore at odds with one another, even though they're passionate about the same thing. And right. that's, then let's focus on the real fight, and that is the statewide issues around funding. Mayor, let's move on to a different topic now, the Raiders. It, it looks like the team is, and the Coliseum are close to reaching yeah. a deal, reportedly $7.5 million. Do you want to see the negotiators playing a little bit more hardball? Because the Raiders, it looked like they were losing out on some options. It, it, was, it was getting close. Well, listen, nothing's official yet. It does have to get voted on by a number of bodies, but I'm encouraged Courage that our incredible Raider Nation, best fans in the world, are going to get one, possibly two more years with their team. Um, and let me be clear, we are not dropping our lawsuit against the right. NFL or the Raiders for wrongfully abandoning the city that they were born in. You're talking about an antitrust lawsuit. Does that make the whole thing really awkward? Listen, um, they wanted that dropped as a, as a, a precursor to extending the lease. Uh, I'm very glad and very clear that that was not on the table. But if they want to give our fans uh, one to two more years of enjoyment, that's great. And, and let's also be clear that we're going to stop subsidizing this team. The city and the county have been doing that for years and years. Uh, I'm very confident that whatever deal gets finally agreed on will not be a subsidy deal. So the current state of the relationship between the Raiders and the city of Oakland? Well, you can love the team but not particularly like the management. <laughs> Very good. Well uh, before, we, before we let you go today, the Oakland Promise, uh, a big yes. initiative you've been working on for years. Tell yeah. us, you, you made some major milestones there. Absolutely. We're um, announcing on March 12th will be our uh, public uh, sharing of our report card. Incredible gains. Um, verified by an independent evaluator who says that the Oakland Promise is the most comprehensive program of its kind in the country Ever. And that's because we literally start with babies, giving them $500 college savings accounts and financial coaching for their parents, all the way to helping um, our high school students go to and through college with multi-year scholarships and mentors. And in just our first year, we saw a 14% increase in African-American students enrolling in four-year college. That is phenomenal. That's an exceptional program. Mayor Schaff, uh, thanks for joining us here uh, this morning, uh, this afternoon, rather, and uh, for sharing on those topics. Great. Thanks for having Thank me. You. Go Oakland. <laughs>